Hey, good afternoon everyone. This is Joe from the Northeastern Native Plant Digest bringing you another video you can use to help our environment one yard at a time. Uh, today I wanted to talk about one of my very favorite spring ephemerals. And for me, nothing says spring like uh, spring beauties. When spring beauties uh, come into bloom, then you really know that winter is over. And uh, these are actually one of my favorite plants. I love them so much. So today we're just going to talk a little bit about these. So these are in the purslane family. Uh, their uh, genus is Claytonia, they're Claytonia virginica. So these are a, a native ephemeral wildflower, woodland wildflower that grows all over the state of Ohio, uh, definitely here in Summit County. Uh, so th these are a little plant that uh, can grow to get to be about three to six inch tall. Typically, typically you're going to see these blooming around this time of the year, uh, uh, April, mid to late, uh, early to mid April going into May. So these have a, these actually have a pretty fairly long bloom time. Uh, these actually will stay in bloom for uh, a month or even even more than that uh, if conditions are good. So they have they have uh, a couple interesting things about them. They have a, a typically you're going to see two leaves on the stalk with a little central uh, uh, stem there with all the where all the flowers are going to be located. And the leaves are kind of fleshly fleshy if you if you break them in half they kind of have a almost like a succulent feel to them, even though these aren't a succulent, succulent at all. And a very beautiful flower, a very beautiful, delicate flower. Uh, these uh, typically will spread by self-seeding. Uh, they also uh, uh, will go dormant as the season progresses, uh, just like almost most of our spring ephemerals. Uh, so they, they, what they do is they have a little corm here, if you can see that. And it's kind of similar to, you know, think about a, a tulip or a daffodil where as, uh, as the plant dies back, as the season progresses, they'll store the energy for next year's growth in this, in this little corm. Uh, so that's how they'll survive these uh, harsh <laughs> Ohio winters. <clears throat> so another interesting thing about these is that, is that these, these flowers are very sensitive to sunlight. I don't know if they would... Uh, scientifically be say that they're photosensitive or not but but these things typically uh, close up on cloudy days and at night and then on sunny days like we have today uh, they're out here spreading their cheer <laughs> and uh, they, they actually are fairly hardy uh, I think compared to a lot of other spring ephemerals there's some spring ephemerals where the you know they just need to have that that uh, perfect woodland soil but these things seem to thrive pretty pretty uh, Pretty good in a lot of different soils. I've these were here when I moved in here. I've done my best to allow them to go to seed and spread. Uh, they look great growing up in between cracks. Uh, have some more over here. They look good mixed in with flocks, mixed in with other spring ephemerals. Uh, they will die off, like I said. Uh, they're easy to transplant. You can transplant these uh, pretty easy. You just dig them up and move them. Uh, let them reseed. That's another great way to let them spread. Uh, these are tip and another great thing about these is that these are a nice uh, early spring uh, nectar plant for a lot of bees. Uh, these bees are they're uh, pollinated and uh, visited by honeybees, mason bees. Uh, the corm that I showed you are uh, eaten by chipmunks, white-footed mice, things like that. So these are a nice little important component to uh, our ecosystem. <clears throat> so I would definitely you know take a look at these if if you have these growing around your yard. I would definitely let them. Uh, proliferate. Uh, if you know somebody that has some, you know, see if you can get a few from them. Save this, they see. I, I'm not sure uh, how it, easily they germinate, but uh, I, I know they do spreads from seeds, so they they uh, it'd be worth a try if you could get your hands on some seeds, or if you know somebody that has some that could give you some from their yard. Uh, you never want to dig any plants up from the wild, but uh, if you know somebody that has some land and they have them growing on there, it wouldn't hurt you to take a few and spread them out. So there you go. This is just a short little video. Uh, Claytonia virginica, spring beauty, a beautiful spring ephemeral plant that's uh, well worth taking a look at and planting it in your garden. So I hope you have a great afternoon and enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, please subscribe to my video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Leave your comments below and appreciate all uh, those who subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye.